हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक एग्रोनॉमिक प्रिंसिपल्स इन हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन सो लेट्स मूव इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशंस आर प्राइमरी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन देर शुड बी ऑप्टिमम ग्रोइंग सीजन कंडीशंस एंड लोकेशंस आर क्रिटिकल इन ऑप्टेनिंग गुड ईल्ड एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ हाइब्रिड सीड्स द रीजन्स विथ एबेंडेंट सनसाइन आर प्रिफर्ड फॉर हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन unless the parental lines are specifically sensitive to a particular temperature and photo period for flowering and male sterility expressions sunshine hours are kept in planning in case of photo period sensitive crops where conditions required for flowering and seed set some species need high temperature and on other hand some are requiring a low temperature to promote flowering where the vernalization is needed many temperate vegetables like cabbage cauliflower beetroot european type radish and carrot needs vernalization as a rainfall is concerned there should be moderate rainfall and humidity requirement for most of the crops under seed production high rainfall areas are not suitable for hybrid seed production due to the adverse effect not only on pollination but also on seed viability vigor whereas excessive wind speed may hamper the activity of pollinators and it may carry the wind borne foreign pollen from long distances resulting in contamination and may cause seed set so there should be optimum wind blowing for the pollen dispersal land requirements are also very very important where the selection should be related to isolation requirement there should not be any contamination chances from the site fields where the same species of the crops are grown either commercial or seed production the land should be fertile and free from volunteer plants volunteer plants refers to the plants which are go grown in the fields uh, from the previous crop of uh, same uh, same species and also the field should be level having the proper drainage that it should avoid the stagnation of water and there should be sufficient organic matter and, and irrigation facilities to maximize the yields isolation is the prime requirement in case of hybrid seed production isolation refers to the state of being in a place or situation that is separate from others the conditions of being isolated means the hybrid seed production field should be away as per the standard dis distance recommended for the seed production of a specific crops isolation distance refers to the minimum separation required between two or more varieties of the same species of the crop for the purpose of keeping seed pure and of desired quality isolation is of three types first one is distance isolation second is time isolation or temporal isolation and third one is barrier or physical isolation distance isolation to be maintained as per the recommended isolation distance which vary from crop to crop and time isolation is followed to escape flowering simultaneously within seed and other plot wherever barrier and physical isolation refers to the topographical surface features natural obstacles where the tall crops are grown or artificial obstacles are raised here we will study in detail about different type of isolation first one is spatial or distance isolation where the special separation required between a seed field and other sources of genetic and mechanical contamination especially between varieties of cross pollination more the extent of outcrossing expected the distance should be more wider and higher the class of seed we have to make the wider distances like for breeder foundation seed nucleus seed it should be higher compared to hybrid seed production in hybrid seed production wider the distance than that of variety production now temporal isolation or time isolation if distance isolation is not maintained then temporal or time isolation must be practiced by altering the sowing dates by differential planting crop of seed production should be sown early or late by a margin of 25 to 30 days depending upon the crop to escape the flowering same time and then neighboring fields of same or other variety should be different having flowering period to avoid 
the contamination and prevent entry of foreign pollens in the field of seed production. As physical barrier is concerned, in surrounding of crop of seed production, particularly on buns, crops of well plant height and densely planted crops should be grown to prevent entry of foreign pollens in the field of seed production. And the physical isolation is practiced by covering the floral part or whole plant. We can avoid the physical contamination into seed. In hybrid seed production, sowing plays an important role and we have to focus on time of sowing, seed rate, methods of sowing and depth of sowing. Time of sowing is concerned, we have to go for ideal or optimum sowing window because in this duration the crop growth and yielding will be to the best. Seed rate is also as per the recommended rate because optimum plant population need to get the maximum yields. Methods of sowing is also important and it varies region to region and crop specific. So we have to follow the recommended practices. And depth of, depth of sowing is also important to get the good germination, proper seed emergence and maintain the optimum plant population. In seed production, a staggering is the practices followed because we are using different type of parents having different genetic identity. A staggering refers differential sowing of male and female parents means the difference between sowing dates to achieve proper synchronization of flowering of both parents during hybrid seed production and a staggering depends on flowering behavior of both male and female parents while seed production. Pollination is also recommended in a well condition where the pollen dispersal and its transfer to the seed parents plays great role. Pollination is important for the seed yield. There should be effective pollination and pollen dispersal and its transfer to the seed parent is called pollination. There are two parental lines in hybrid seed production which are differ in their morphological traits and flowering behavior and flowering time. The parental line should flower simultaneously for effective pollination followed by fertilization and seed setting. Manual operation or by allowing natural pollination by the wind or insects depending on the flower type and pollen characteristics. Some crops like maize, pearl millet, bajra sorghum, there is natural pollination while in crops like sunflower, cotton, there is manual pollination. In hybrid seed production, synchronization is of great importance. Simultaneous flowering of male and female parents in hybrid seed production is known as synchronization. Synchronization in flowering between the parental lines assumes greater importance as the seed set on female parents depends on the amount of pollen supplied from the male parent to female parent during flowering period. In general, parental lines of most of the hybrids across the crop species differ in their growth duration and consequently flowering. Failure to achieve proper synchronization of flowering between the parental lines is the most commonly encountered problem in hybrid seed production resulting in very poor or no seed set. Hence synchronization of flowering of the parental lines is a prerequisite for successful hybrid seed production. This is because the seed set on the female parents depends on the availability of viable pollen supplied by the male parent during the flowering period while the stigma is receptive. Therefore, it is essential to determine the flowering behavior in terms of its initiation, peak flowering, termination and thereby flowering duration to take up an appropriate seeding and sowing plan. This helps achieve synchronized flowering between the parental lines involved in hybrid seed production. Achieving synchronized flowering through proper seeding intervals, staggered sowing, seed treatment, spraying of chemicals, nick management, fertilizers and other agronomic interventions are possible only with prior knowledge of the flowering behavior of the parental lines for hybrid seed production. The seed parents with cytoplasmic malestility, protogyny, protoendry systems having an extended flowering period with insufficient pollen availability which results in a low seed set. 
to supply an adequate quantity of pollen during the flowering of the seed parent a staggered sowing may be followed in the pollen parent which will supply the pollen for the longer period as per the stigma receptivity of female and it will result in desired yielding in hybrid seed production planting ratio or row ratio is very very important to maintain the optimum plant population of male and female parents there should be sufficient population of female to get the desired yield because this is the seed parents from which we are harvesting the produce planting ratio refers to the sowing arrangement of row ratio of female and male lines and this is followed in hybrid seed production where two parents male and females are used in crops where it is grown in a row uh, like a wind power, wind pollination in maize sorghum palmillet as a sorghum sudan grass and other crops it is planted in male female row ratio while there are some crops like cotton sunflower where the parents are grown in block method the planting or row ratio depends on different factors about which we will discuss here like growth and vigor of pollinator because male is pollinator and there should be proper growth vigorous growth to supply and produce the abundant pollen and height of pollinator should be greater than female because height will be more than pollen dispersal will be easy through wind velocity and the size of male panicles and amount of residual pollen is one of the important parameter to supply the adequate sufficient pollen to the female parent to cross the pollinate the stigma and as female and is concerned the stigma exertion is very very important and duration and angle of floret opening of cms female line is also very very important because it will decide the crossing period pollination period and ultimately seed setting and yielding is the environmental conditions are concerned prevailing wind direction and velocity during anthesis time is also great role planting the seed or pollen parent in rows perpendicular to the wind direction is the principle in case of wind edge pollen vector because the pollen from male parent is falling falling directly to the stigma of female parent which will result in maximum outcrossing and good yielding ultimately supplementary pollination refers to the additional pollination supplementary pollination is a method to ensure adequate pollination of the seed parent by physical or mechanical methods or by maintaining an abundant vector population it is achieved by different practices as per the flowering behavior and flower morphology of the crop supplementary pollination serves to enhance the outcrossing rate in order to increase seed set supplementary pollination has to be done for 7 to 10 days during flowering time duration and frequency of supplementary pollinations are important for higher seed setting in seed parent Supplementary pollination should be done by shaking the pollen parent with the help of ropes or sticks so that the pollen is shed effectively on a line parents. This is generally followed in rice hybrid seed production. In other crops like maize, millet and others, the crop male tapping is done to enhance crossing when there is synchronization issues or pollen is bulky in nature. keeping bee hives in hybrid seed production plots coinciding with the flowering is recommended for realizing higher quantity and better quality of hybrid seed in sunflower and rape seed crops in case of cross pollinated crops if a bee hive is present in the close proximity of the seed farms it leads to higher seed set as supplementary pollination and cause contamination also if isolation issues are they are in surroundings so we have to think about and take the appropriate measures for supplementary pollination to enhance the yields in hybrid seed production roguing is most important is quality is concerned it refers to the act of identifying and removing plants with undesirable characteristics from agricultural or seed production fields rogues are removed from the fields to preserve the quality of the crop being grown in other way 
Rogging is the removal of undesirable plants from seed production plots which helps prevent further genetic contamination from off types plants by cross pollination. A quality seed must be free from any genetic or physical admixtures. To ensure high genetic and physical purity, it is important to have proper isolation and regular removal of off types and volunteer plants from the female and male restorer parental lines at all growth stages. The undesirable plants may be volunteer plants from the previous crop, of type produced by the outcrossing with contaminants and admixtures during the process of harvesting, threshing, packing and handling or the presence of pollen seeders which is the term used for male fertile plants in the seed parent population. The timely and careful removal of all of type plants in both female and male lines ensures the high purity of hybrid seed. Rogging at all stages of the crop in the field is an essential requirement to maintain the varietal purity or hybrid purity. Sometimes rogged plants are not distinguishable before flowering. Therefore, rogging should be done as early as blooming starts and doubtful plants to be strictly rogged out and the rogged plants should be removed from the field immediately after rogging and destroyed as they may survive for a few days and may spread their pollen. At end stage of the hybrid seed production, the harvesting and threshing plays an important role to maintain the physical as well as genetic beauty. The best time for harvesting seed crops is at a stage when the highest yield of the best quality seeds can be obtained. The harvesting should be done when the crop is attaining minimum physiological maturity before harvesting because it ensures the germination, viability and vigor of the produced seed. And there are different methods of harvesting like manual or machine harvesting and it should be done at the appropriate stage at prescribed moisture stage. High moisture will lead to the germination problems or fungal attacks or loss of vigor and viability and germination. So moisture percent is very very important to be followed as per the recommended prescription. Harvesting of the male parent should be done first prior to female harvesting and after male harvest the field should be thoroughly checked that there should be no any leftover male, male seed plants in the field and after thorough rogging inspection when we are confident that there are no chances of any admixture then the female harvesting to be permitted. After harvest the threshing can be done by hand or by the machine and both should be checked thoroughly machinery as well as threshing floor it should be cleaned and there should be no any chance for genetic as well as physical contamination at the processing stage and cleaning so this is the end produce so we have to be more cautious to avoid any contamination at the end stage of the production activity here to study about seed drying and storage Seed drying refers to the process of decreasing the seed moisture content to safe moisture limits. And the seed drying is very very important to permit early harvest and reduces loss due to bad weather. So there should be proper management of seed drying, threshing floor should be available, yard should be there that we can spread the harvested produce and dry efficiently following all control measures. Seed drying is an aid for efficient and economical labor management which can be done efficiently by taking the proper care while drying process. Manual harvesting reduces the damage while in case of mechanical harvesting you should be more cautious and handling and processing should be properly monitored. Because in mechanical harvest, harvester, if uh, the RPMs or uh, speed or uh, machineries are not having proper alignment, there may be some damages 
cut seeds or more losses. Seed drying reduces loss in seed quality and quantity during a storage. So there should be proper moisture content to which we have to store the material. And the aim of the seed drying is to create the optimum moisture conditions which promotes the germination and storability. And at the, at the storage time there should be ambient conditions where the moisture should be in between 8 to 12 percent for most of the crops. Natural and artificial method of force drying is also used and there should be ambient storage conditions after proper drying. As a final outcome, the key deliverables of efficient hybrid seed production is to produce highest order of seed quality in terms of genetic purity, seed vigor and germination. To minimize the cost, there should be maximization of hybrid seed yield per unit area, reduction of production cost per kg of seed and it should be free from inert matter, weed seeds and other crop seed as per the prescribed standards and the seed should be freedom from seed borne diseases and it should be timely available to the customer. Now this presentation on topic agronomic principles in hybrid seed production comes to the end. See you shortly with new topic. Thanks.